Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome back to another All the New Foods I Tried in September. Yes, September. <laughs> Don't mind the different background. I'm actually around-ish San Diego for work right now, but I just wanted to shoot this quick little intro outro so y'all can enjoy the video. If you're not familiar with this series, once a month I gather all my taste tests from throughout the whole month and I publish them all together so you can see everything that I got to try, whether or not it's good and you should get it or you should avoid it. Just save yourself some money on me. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Hey guys, so a wonderful follower on Instagram sent me these Jelly Belly Vegan Gummies, a sour one and a regular one. So number one, I wanna say thank you so much. I'm so excited. She found these at TJ Maxx. So if they're good after this taste test and you want one, then check out TJ Maxx. They were $4.49 each. Um, but without further ado, let's try them. They come in lemon, berry blue, very cherry, orange, and green apple. I'm definitely more of a green apple person myself. So let's try that one first. Oh, they're so big. Look at them. They're cute. Mmm. I know exactly. This is a texture of like fruit snacks. This is a texture of fruit snacks. It's not the best gummy texture. Um, let me try sour version. Same texture. Not sour at all. I hate when not I hate when sour things aren't sour. Let me be nice and try one more flavor before I give you my conclusion. Let's try. Let's try blue. Okay. Okay. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. They're not very strongly flavored. So like on a flavor scale of one to ten, they're like flavor to four. So the flavor is good, but it's so mild you have to like chew it a bunch before you like taste the flavor. And also the texture isn't really gummy. Like there's no spring back. Like when you chew it, your teeth strings like sinks like straight into it. Like you know what I mean? Like okay, I don't know if I can show you. Like there's no no gummy. It's just mushy. I'm not making any sense. That being said, the sour is better than the plain. But they're both like mid. Like I would choose Sour Patch Kids over these any day. I still really appreciate them being sent to me. Because I love trying things. So just because they're not my favorite gummies I've ever had, number one, I'm definitely going to eat them. They're still fine. And number two, I still really appreciate getting the chance to try them. So thank you very much. If you see them, try them. They're not bad. They're just not like fantastic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bye. Hello, we've come here together on my kitchen floor for me to show you that Oatly has ice cream bars. I have to say, I have opened and tried every single flavor already. <laughs> That's my coffee maker. Uh, salted caramel, chocolate chocolate, uh, vanilla, and strawberry swirl. Now for someone who doesn't usually like fruit and chocolate together, even the strawberry swirl was delicious. I would say these are all equally delicious in their own flavor. Like if you're a fan of whatever flavor, you'll like the flavor of this in the ice cream. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to eat right now. And I think we're going to do chocolate chocolate because I've been craving chocolate today. And I'll open it for you. That's what it looks like by the way. You know, it has their little writing that they're famous for. Um, it looks the same as any other little chocolate, little chocolate dipped ice cream thing you've ever seen. So, not crazy or anything. But the chocolate on it, pretty good. The ice cream inside, pretty creamy. And in the ones that like have a flavor, you see a little flavor swirl pattern in it. Kind of fun. I have not seen these in stores. They were sent to me. But if I were to see them in stores, and if you were to see them in a store near you, I would say snag them. Because again, they're delicious. This is going to be a very quick review because it's a very basic product. Um, these are just like little tea cookies and they were sent to me. I assumed that they would taste like coconut because of this. They do not taste like coconut. 
I did eat almost all of them already. They have a little bit of sugar on top, which makes the texture really nice. Um, they break really easily, so almost all of them were broken by the time it got to me in the mail. But they had no effect on the flavor. It was so good dipped in coffee or tea or just like... Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this one's a little stale. They were fresher before and they like snapped. Um, yeah, just think of a regular tea cookie, but with a little layer of crystallized sugars, crystallized, crystallized sugars on top. Very, very good. I like it a lot. If I saw this in the US, I would buy it. Now that I think about it a little harder, maybe it does taste a little like coconut. But like, barely, barely, barely. Hmm? Okay, listen. Get out, get out of my video. Get out of my video. <laughs> we should probably get a new one of these. Yeah, probably. Anyway, go ahead. Talk. Get out of my video. So today, we're going to be checking out the new Impossible Nuggets. Okay, they're not new. They're really old. I've just not gotten them at all yet. Um, I, oh, careful. <laughs> um, I just haven't tried them yet. Uh, no reason. Why not? I just never picked them up. Um, probably because they're $12 for this one bag. That's a lot, okay? It smells good. Mmm. It tastes like chicken. Huh. I have to say these are probably the most chickeny chicken nuggets I've tried. Uh, Roberto nodded his head as you as, 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 as Roberto nodded his head yes. Tastes like fast food chicken nuggets. I really like the Gardein tenders. Those might taste better quality because the breading is better and stuff. But these are closest to like fast food nuggets in my opinion. They have more flavor. Yes, and they're more chickeny. I like it. Mmm. This taste test is impromptu. But I really, really hope I like this product, and I'll tell you why. A couple days ago, I saw this protein bar online, and everyone was saying it was good. And it was also sold out on the website, which makes me think it's good, right? You know, if it's sold out. Um, and so I went on Amazon, and you could only buy a box. You couldn't buy one. So I was like, fuck it. It has a lot of good recommendations. I'm just going to buy the whole box. So I, I did already spend, like, $25 on a box of these bars. So it better be good. Now, after the gym, I went and I bought some vegetables, and I just saw it. I saw the bar that I bought at the grocery store. It's the Bear Bells uh, Sim uh, Salty Peanut Plant-Based Protein Bar, and everyone says it tastes like a chocolate bar, and I just really want to know if it tastes like a chocolate bar, because if it does, I'll be so happy that I bought a whole box, and if it doesn't, I'll eat the box anyway, but I will be less happy about it. Um, it's 210 calories. 15 grams of protein. Not like the craziest amount of protein, but still like, you know, kind of good. It looks like a chocolate bar. But does it taste like a chocolate bar? We're about to find out right now. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this. There's a bitter aftertaste. Um, is it expired? Okay, it's not giving like amazing wow blow your mind but it's also not bad it doesn't taste a lot like peanut butter it tastes like pb2 fit or something i think this was overhyped for me would i buy and eat it yes it's good i just was expecting my mind to be blown but i think that really set it up for failure you know i'd love to see them do like a double chocolate flavor or something so my camera's dying i would say it's good Definitely try it. It's one of the better protein bars I've tried, but I'm not like blown away, you know? You know. Hey, this is chicken, like a breaded chicken breast from Meaty Foods. Meaty spelt M-E-A-T-I, I think. And they're a plant-based, like vegan meat company where the base of the meat is, I think like mushroom or fungus or something like that. Anyway, so they sent me these to try. Um, it smells like a chicken nugget. They make like a breaded thing and they make they make a steak and they also make, I think like an unbreaded chicken. I just cut it in half so I can show you a little cross section. Here's a little cross section, fairly chicken-like. The breading is lifting a little bit. I bake this in the oven for like half an hour from frozen. So we are about to give it a good old try.
The texture is tuna. Tuna sandwich texture. The taste is light chicken nugget. So the taste is great, but the texture is giving tuna sandwich. This is the most tuna textured vegan product I've ever tried. They should pivot to make tuna. <laughs> because if they took this texture and just gave it tuna instead, if they made it into tuna, it'd be pretty tuna-y. Because the texture is just not giving chicken. Alright, bite this off and tell me what texture is that? I heard you say tuna. Shh, just try it. I feel like it's a hybrid of tuna and turkey. Tuna and turkey, he says. A hybrid of tuna and turkey. What is this supposed to be, chicken? Yeah, but like, I guess flavor is chickeny. Or like, white turkey breast. But no, texture is tuna. I agree. The texture is a hybrid of when you bite into white turkey breast and it's still kind of juicy, but it flakes apart as if it was tuna shreds. The breading is nice. The breading is crispy and like peppery. Um, it's just weird. I kind of like it. Berto likes it. I will eat it. The rest of the chicken is going to my meal prep. It's just odd. I'm just gonna shut up now. Try it if you want to. Hello my friends. Earlier in this video, I shot on bear, bear bells, barbells, protein bars, okay? I shot on them. Well, I didn't sh shot on them that hard. I just said they were meh, okay? And since then, I've received the box that I ordered. Turns out I ordered a different flavor than the flavor I tried before. I ordered this one, this hazelnut and nougat. To this day, I don't think I even know what a nougat is. Um, however, this is delicious. This is so good, okay? It tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. I don't know if the last one I had, I just didn't like the flavor, but I usually like, you know, peanut butter, whatever, whatever. Or maybe that one was stale, I don't know. That one was extremely mid. This one? Chocolate bar. It's like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know, it looks okay. It looks like a protein bar. But the flavor, for whatever, for whatever, that thing. This might be like the only protein bar I eat from now on. It's that good, definitely get it. But get this one, get this flavor. Hello loves. We are taste testing a yogurt. It's a little bit different because I've never had a yogurt where like the ingredient is chickpeas. Like it's chickpea yogurt. Never heard of such a thing, but we have strawberry flavor, plain, blueberry, and vanilla. And we're gonna try one today. Maybe we'll try more than one in this video, or maybe we'll try one and decide if we like the vibe or not. I'm looking at the ingredients because it's unique, it's weird, you know? Chickpea base, which is chickpea protein, blueberries, sugar, coconut oil, potato starch, citrus fibers, monk fruit juice, lemon juice, cornstarch, sunflower lecithin cultures. Okay, interesting, interesting. It says dairy-free, soy-free, GMO-free, gluten-free. And I did not tear the lid off properly. The texture looks interesting. It smells good. It smells good. Let's, uh... Hmm. You know? It's not as grainy as most vegan yogurts. Okay, let me mix this shit up and take like a real bite. Is it nut free? Oh no, it has coconut. But coconut's not a nut, right? Some people are allergic to nuts, but not coconut. So I would say this is like one of the more allergen friendly yogurts I've seen because there's no tree nuts. Is coconut a tree nut? I don't know. There's no non-coconut nuts and no soy. Is it gluten free? And gluten free. So I'd say this is like probably one of the more allergen friendly yogurts I've tried. It's kind of good. I have to say it's very light. Feels light in your mouth. I don't know how to I don't know how to describe that. It's just it doesn't feel like thick creamy. It feels like light creamy. 
I like it. I need it again. I think if you are allergic to tree nuts, gluten and soy, go for it. Unique product. Cool. Hello. We're about to try something that terrifies me. I'm probably more scared of trying this thing than I have any other taste test on this channel. And that's because this isn't like a common US or Middle Eastern food. It's like, like a, like a pate. I never had any sort of pate when I wasn't vegan, so I don't even know what pate tastes like. I don't know why, it just feels scary. I can't read, I can't read much of this, um, except for I've figured out from context clues that it says like no gluten, no GMO, no cholesterol. Although I don't know what that, I can't begin to guess what conservantal means. I was told, I put this on my Instagram story, and I was told that I'm supposed to eat it on toast. So, we have here a piece of sourdough, and I'm about to unseal the meal. Oh, it just smells like slightly spicy, peppery cold cut or something. It kind of looks like slightly too orange hummus. Like, it looks like a mixture of hummus and Mmm, peppery dip, cheese dip. I don't know, dude. I'm about to spread it on bread. One second. It's soft. I don't know how thinly you're supposed to spread it, but I put this much. If this is too much, I'm sorry. I wanted to be able to like get the flavor, you know? Cheers. I can see how this could be a good layer in a sandwich. It tastes like Specifically red pepper sabra hummus and a little bit of ketchup. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of it on toast. However, I could see it as a nice sandwich component. Like if there was like a whole lot of flavors going on, some greens, some slices, some pickles, a schmear of this, yes, it would work. Um, I think it's a condiment. And if it's not a condiment, I think that's how I would use it. I would use it as a condiment. I wouldn't use it as like just a toast topper by itself. Those are my thoughts. <clears throat> this was actually sent to me. So thank you for sending me probably the most interesting product I've ever been sent. I really appreciate that. That was fun. And it, it looks a lot more intimidating than it is. It, it tastes not weird. Like, like, I don't think I've ever tasted something like that before, but it's pretty decent taste. That's all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on my thoughts. Do you agree? Do you think I should get something specific to try for next month? Let me know and I'll look for it. But that's all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Daisy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, Clark, and Sarah. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!